Uh, let's hope for a safe weekend for everybody. Scott Padgett, it sounds like it could not be better for everybody being outside in a nice distanced fashion. Absolutely. It's going to be a fantastic weekend. Lots of sunshine on the way and not a drop of rain in sight. So we're going to end the month down where we're supposed to be for this time of the year. You can see no rain today down by 2.34 as of today. So it's been a dry October, but it was a nice afternoon with 66 there as our high. We're now down to 55 with partly cloudy skies showing up. Our winds are the south southeast at five. So still Cool to crisp tonight. We see our temperatures overnight tonight into tomorrow morning down into the low 40s to the upper 30s. Not near the freezing mark like where we were in some spots this morning, especially in our northwest counties. And then with the dry air in place, we heat up nicely for tomorrow. We'll see partly cloudy to mostly sunny skies off and on through the day. 64 degrees by one warms up to 70 degrees for tomorrow afternoon by about 7. 64 degrees as Maybe trick or treating is happening. Temperatures in the mid to the low 60s right around trick or treat time. And as you're going to be out, well, make sure that you definitely look up into the sky because we have a full moon and a blue moon for tomorrow night. And then tomorrow night, later in the evening, we turn those clocks back by one hour. But speaking about that moon, we're going to be seeing the full moon, blue moon on Halloween. The last blue moon on Halloween was back in 2001. So blue moon, again, meaning the second blue moon, full moon in a month. Sunset 636, moonrise at 657, but that all changes then going into uh, tomorrow night, into the overnight hours. We're going to be having to turn our clocks back. So again, sunrise 744 Saturday will be at 645 on Sunday, and then sunset at 535. But we're going to be seeing great weather to get outside through the end of the week. And 64 degrees, week cool front moves through. But then by next week, temperatures dug back into the low 70s for Election Day and continuing to warm up after that.